welcome to this video playing Casablanca Casablanca from Denmark okay the Queen's Gambit yeah the exchange is what I usually do but maybe vary a bit uh, this is what you get for varying a line that I don't know anything about hmm. yeah. Yeah, I guess you play e4, but it's not like I, I know much here. Ah, wait, I think there is an interesting gambit line with bishop c4. Knight e4 and castles, maybe I can try that. And now I think knight e5 is the move, and then queen g4. This um, is, is, I think, quite interesting. I saw that in a... In a um, in one of those uh, dangerous weapons books. Rook e1 or queen h5? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just be aggressive. Mm, okay. Rook d1, maybe. Yeah, white has, uh, of course, some compensation. That's that's clear. In a, in a practical game, it's uh, it's quite uncomfortable for black. Mm, do I do bishop bishop g five or is this this bit too little? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like an aggressive position, but I don't really threaten anything. Or should I go back to g4, attacking on g7? Hmm. Maybe do something directly. g6, bishop h6, castles, bishop h6. Yeah, white has very, very good compensation. I would have absolutely hate to play this as black. Okay. Bishop g7, rook g8. Oh, but okay, I can I can go to f6 actually. Very hard to see how black can should untangle himself. Uh, maybe he can take and play e5. Hmm. B5. I can also take here. Okay, now let's just let's just keep pieces on. Okay, so should I take Queen G5? Oh, I can actually take on E6. Yeah, I can take here. And uh, I should do that if I can. Yeah, but I thought I can uh, can take here on on f7 and rook d7. This kind of moves, or maybe maybe uh, something else. Bishop d7, king f8. That's also very good. Check. Okay, let's let's keep it simple. Check. Check. And uh, let's see. I can take on g2. I mean, I saw that, but I wonder if I have a direct mate or anything. Probably not. Just Check. just keep that. And uh, it's it's just a piece, really. Check. <laughs> Sometimes you just forget that you're piece down. Yeah, Check. this really was a very good position that I got with this gambit. Quite, uh, quite amazing. Maybe it's not uh, entirely sufficient, but. Check. 
It certainly led to a good play in this game. Check. I mean, I have one minute 44. I think I'll manage, really. Check. <laughs> Black resigns. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I cannot really advise on the theoretical uh, implications here. I know that this is, uh, I believe, too dangerous. It, 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 it feels very dangerous without uh, castling here. So this is, this is probably okay. But uh, well, don't ask me what is the right uh, way here to play. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the way it was uh, was played in the game, like that, this this should be quite good compens quite good compensation. How is he uh, going to um, to untangle himself? The computer here suggests King F8. Yeah, this makes lots of sense actually. Trying to um, not weaken yourself anymore. And this is so the computer already gives a wider winning advantage. Yeah, I mean it looks it looks very very dangerous. I thought here you should take and play e5. Yeah, this is indeed still playable. So probably this this idea bishop g7 wasn't right. Yeah, the thing is he cannot do anything anyway, so I can probably just improve a bit. Maybe something like that. Black has no way to get out of this yeah and uh, after you went b5 it's probably uh, probably gone yeah bishop e6 is winning this this is too much okay thanks for watching